Hello, I'm Dr. Gary Golombiewski. This video presentation is designed to answer the most common questions about atlas orthogonal chiropractic adjusting. Your spinal column, or spine, neck and back, is designed to be in a certain configuration upon standing to support your body, protect the nervous system, and to allow you to function and move properly. Many health problems can be associated with the imbalance of the spine, usually from falls or accidents, maybe even from years ago. The spine is a tunnel of interlocking bones, called vertebrae, that protect the spinal cord. The spinal cord is really an extension of the brain, and together they are known as the central nervous system. There are small spaces between each vertebra, allowing nerves to supply and connect every part of the human body. When the spine is out of balance, this places tension or stress on the nervous system, resulting in symptoms, conditions, even disease. Aligning your spine takes the pressure off the nerves and allows the body to function normally. This is the basic premise of chiropractic. Within the profession, there are many techniques designed to correct or at least partially correct the spine to allow the patient to heal fast and heal properly. Some of these techniques revolve around working with the upper cervical vertebra or the upper bones in the neck. Atlas orthogonal focuses on the alignment of the atlas, the topmost bone in your neck. Although the focus of AO is the atlas vertebra, the goal is total spinal correction. Atlas orthogonal provides a specific and precise way to accomplish this, and with very little force. The spine is like a chain. When the first link is twisted and turned, each link below also twists and turns, thus disrupting the entire chain. The human body is balanced when the head is positioned over the center of the feet. When the atlas is misaligned, it causes the head to tilt. The spine then shifts to support the weight of the head, thereby creating biomechanical and postural stresses. When the atlas is properly aligned, that is in the orthogonal or neutral position, the rest of the spinal vertebrae come into better alignment, allowing the body to function normally and heal properly. X-rays are taken to see the neck misalignment and to determine the best way to correct it. After one or a series of adjustments, comparative x-rays are taken to measure the improvement. The history of adjusting the atlas goes back to the 1930s when Dr. B.J. Palmer, the developer of chiropractic, discovered it was the atlas that controlled the position of the head and the resulting position of the rest of the spine. Dr. Palmer adjusted the atlas back into position using his hands with about 40 pounds of force. Dr. John F. Grostick was taught by Dr. Palmer, and he modified the atlas adjusting technique to use even less force. Dr. Roy Sweat, also a Palmer graduate, designed a mechanical instrument to precisely adjust the atlas while even using less force. The procedure is non-invasive and gentle. The results are often immediate and dramatic. However, most patients need a short program of care to get the best results possible. 